When I inherited, uh, the, took over the family farm, I was kind of presented with a dilemma. This had been historically a, a tobacco farm, and I, A, did not want to grow tobacco, and B, tobacco is a diminishing commodity in North Carolina. So I, I spent some time kind of looking around what I wanted to do, and of course, longleaf pine does very well here. So that's what I decided that I would um, try to restore the longleaf pine to this property. Part of doing that is its fire. At the same time, because we're in the sand hills and it has such a unique natural history and such a rare history these days, we've lost so much of it, that I decided to put a conservation easement on, on all the wet areas. So I had to come up with a plan of how to restore longleaf in certain areas to a plantation status, and then in other areas where I wanted to uh, kind of lift up the conservation value of the property, I would have to have a different fire regime. So when I was making out my burn plan, that's how I incorporated. I would be on one rotation for the areas that I really wanted to establish a very tight basal area for pine for straw production, and then other areas where I would want to try to increase the diversity of the floor species through fire and have an open canopy. So those two fire uh, kind of ideas and plans had to be very different, and that's what I'm still doing today.